a presentation from Motivational Strategies, Creating Effective Visual Aids. It's a six to eight minute, I mean, six to eight minute speech. And it, the whole goal of this is to present a speech topic that lends itself to visual aids. And, and I see we have some visual aids here. The title of the speech is Removing the Mystery. How to clean your garage in 5,000 easy steps. How to clean your garage in 5,000 easy steps. Please help me welcome Jess Reiner. If you're like me, you have a garage or perhaps a closet or maybe a storage unit full of junk. Perhaps you have maybe one or two precious items in that mound of junk. <laughs> but for the most part, it's just junk. What happens? How does it get there? Well, it gets there because we come up with a lot of different excuses. Excuses like, I think I might need this someday. <laughs> or, it might be worth something. <laughs> or, it'd be a real shame to get rid of this. <laughs> And our worst fear of fears is if I get rid of it now, I'll probably need it tomorrow. <laughs> Look at this nifty pen holder. <laughs> oh, aren't you always looking for a pen? Always. They always get lost. Is that a boot? No, it's a golf thing. It's a golf thing. <laughs> Now these, these excuses are all different forms of hallucinations. <laughs> the reason you have all this junk is it's a learned behavior, most likely learned as a result of living with your parents. A perfect example is my mom, what I learned from her. Now when she turned 75, she finally decided that she was gonna clean out her garage and her basement. And she became best friends with the UPS driver. How's that? Well, for five straight years, she would send me a care package. And in that care package from Omaha to San Diego would be all my stuff. Stuff from grade school, like my art projects. <laughs> She'd send me my old grades. She'd send me knickknacks, paddywhacks. And my wife just loved to chide me. She'd say, your mom just sent you another care package. <laughs> it was fun to dig through that. What is the problem? The problem of us hoarding all this stuff, the problem really is up here. <laughs> and I'm here today to help solve your, help solve your problem. And the problem really starts with bringing new items into your home. When you go out and shop and you bring something new in your home, guess what? It's really to replace what you already have. And when it comes to maybe hanging up those two new items and taking away the two old items, you stop and say, hmm. Maybe I'll just put it in the back of the closet where it's dark. <laughs> or I'll put it in the garage where it's dark. Or I'll put it in a box and not even label it where it's dark. So it can steep. These items can steep and stay there forever until, until you run out of space. And then you have to deal with it. And that's why I'm here today, to help you deal with your job. And it's 5,000 easy steps to cleaning your place and you're going to do it over two years two years oh my god you can do it on a weekend no you can't if you ever try to do it on a weekend guess what 
you have more stuff in your closet and more stuff in your garage than you first started with, and you don't have gotten rid of everything. So you've got to follow my 5,000 easy step process. And it goes like this. You walk around your house, walk around your closet, in your garage, and you get an estimate of how much junk you have. In my case, it was a thousand. Because you always underestimate the amount of garbage you have, uh, uh, junk you have, you multiply that by five. And that's how I came up with 5,000 objects I need to get rid of. And then you divide it by two years. Two years is 500 days. It's not 500 days. It's not 500 days because, <laughs> because you're not going to follow through every day like I'm asking you to. You're going to start strong, and then you're just going to stop. So 500 days. 500? 5,000? 5 by 500 is 10 <laughs> items today. You need to get rid of 10 items today. That's not too bad. There are a couple rules. One of the rules is if you pick up an item and put it on a shelf, you still have to get rid of 10 items. That's called organizing. If you bring two new items into the garage, or they're really old items, you have to get rid of 10 plus 2. That's 12 items. And if you find something precious that you need to take back into your home, you need to get a Sharpie and put G on the bottom, which means it was in the garage. If you ever decide to take it back down there, no, no. You need to, you need to just dispose of it. Now listen, not all of us, when we pick up those 10 items, can part with them. It's just something uh, in, in our makeup. I would love you to take it to Goodwill, or put it in the dumpster, or even give it to your neighbor to do the garage sale, and they can keep the money. But most of us won't do that. So if you have a hard time getting rid of the 10 items, there's a workaround. The workaround is you put it in the trunk of your car. <laughs> but alternatively, 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 you set it out in front of your garage. Here's why. First, your neighbors are going to start complaining about all the junk you have in front of your, your, your house. Second, if the sun gets a hold of it, it'll rip it apart. Third, there's plenty of rats and raccoons, and they'll eat through it and destroy it. And if you're lucky, it'll rain. If it <laughs> rains, it's all ruined, and it speeds up the process, and you've gotten rid of everything. Everyone getting, getting an understanding of how to do this? Okay, good. You understand the process? Now, I have one tip. One tip for you as well. Now, when you're in the garage and you reach down and grab something, you're committed. You're committed. You can't just put it back down and say, uh-uh. You know, I, I'll think about it later. You're committed. Here's an example. This beautiful angel. This was my mom's, and I could be maybe uh, uh, something that, you know, that, that cherished item that, 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 that my mom had. And so I had to think and think and think, and that's what you need to do, just sit and you think for a little while, Can, do I need to keep it or do I need to get rid of it? And then I realized that when my mom moved from Omaha to San Diego, we had an estate sale. And she had hundreds, if not thousands, of these collectibles. And when we were done getting rid of everything, the estate agency cut us a check for $100. <laughs> so I don't think this is worth $100, except for maybe Karen Henderson, who likes to collect. <laughs> to conclude, I know your lives are full of junk.